What's up, everybody? Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Welcome back. Yes, and here we go with part two with Pearl from Steven Universe. Who? Dee Dee Magno Hall. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. The interesting part about Dee Dee, all of you out there, is um, allegedly, she's camera shy. I'm so yes. What, what's that about? She's doing very well. She's been in the entertainment I'm, business since she was we, and she's camera shy. I'm trying to um And you've done on-camera the, the cam work. Well, because... Is it because it's... Well, is it because you're not in a character right now? I think maybe it's because you guys are so friendly and you have such friendly eyes and you're so very easy to talk to. Oh, thank and, you. You know, and we're in sort of an intimate setting and I'm forgetting about these cameras most of the time. But, um, yeah, I, I can't even tell you how many interviews I have had in, in the past, how many years I've been in this business, but it never gets easy for me. Mm. And... Um, I don't know what it is. I, I do. I get nervous. I have anxiety right before I come to the uh, to the interviews. And I think maybe it's maybe it's because <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like talking so much, and I feel like <laughs> I talk so much more than I think I would. You know and what I mean? Like I'm but like, you're not. Oh my gosh, you're we have, telling yeah, well, stories. We've done a lot of shows, and if you don't talk. It gets really It, it becomes awkward. really boring, yeah, because then we have to talk. <laughs> I'm um, like telling you what I made for dinner last night. And yeah. yeah. Sometimes people like to know those things. Yes. But, um, but yeah, it, yeah, it's not an easy thing for me to do. And when you're at conventions, I mean, you're doing a lot of appearances at conventions with are, large yeah, are audiences. Are those easier are because those the people are there live? No. Don't. No. <laughs> It does look like, you know, it's because tons of people. Exactly. And it's not scripted. You have to sort right. of speak yeah. off the top of your head. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel oftentimes m more comfortable singing a song or uh, doing a play or doing a performance because it, there's a script it's involved. It's rehearsed. Yeah. It's rehearsed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's memorized. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but, but yeah, this is not as, you know. Hey, Dee Dee. Yes. Hey, Dee Dee. Um, so obviously you've had a lot of experience uh, with auditions. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what is your, uh, for the people out there, you know, because there are people who live all over the place and they don't have, they don't get to hang out with Didi and say, hey Didi, how should I do this? What's your process of auditioning? When an auditioning comes in, how do you break it down and how do you get to the point where you're happy with it and say, yes, send it in? Um, so I was listening to or watching Zach talk about this. Yeah. Um, so Zach has, he has this like fancy thing that he carries around everywhere with him um, in case he has to record auditions right. remotely. I told you before, you I have use my telephone. phone. <laughs> my <Yeah>. telephone. <laughs> my ancient telephone. Yeah. Um, so whenever I receive an, an audition, I read it. <laughs> And send and it in. <laughs> <laughs> you call the agency and say, I'm going to read this to you over the phone? Yeah. yeah. Can you <laughs> Can just you record it somehow? Record on the other side. I'm sure the quality will be amazing. <laughs> um, but but sometimes, well, sometimes they, it doesn't come with a picture. So you right. really don't know what this character looks like. And you're referring to voice acting. I'm, of course. I'm yeah. because, I, because I do audition for other things, film yeah. and television right. and, and, and musicals and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a little different. It's very different. They're not yes. going to take it over the phone. No, they're yeah. not. Yes. No. No. Um, not over my telephone. Uh, although I have recorded myself for, I'm sure which you is have. on tape. Put of myself course. on tape on my, my <laughs> telephone. Yes. Selfie cam. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but, but if there is a, a, a picture, then of course I try and try to picture my face on that little <laughs> cartoon. Um, but, y you know, I, I wonder um, if... Of course, I read the description. You know yeah. what they want. Oftentimes, I get um, auditions for young children, for uh, either a, a young boy mm -hmm. or um, you know 
18, you know, to 20 year old lady. Is, is that your specialty? Like, you, young I boys don't know or? what my specialty <laughs> is. <laughs> Apparently, Pearl is the only thing I can do. Pearl is the only thing she can do, which is you. Which is me. Yeah. Yes. And and that's fine. Yeah. I mean, so so then am I am I to do Pearl's voice <laughs> for yeah. everything? Is that am I to get, just be myself? Exactly. No, I but think the thing so. is, you're being modest right now. <laughs> yes. You're a singer. And an amazing one at that. So yes. you have ri rhythm, you have musicality, you mm -hmm. can hear melody, you can see, you can see, you can verbalize color. Yeah. As a singer, singers can do that, and most people don't really understand what that is. I'm um, not sure. You don't even think about it. No, you don't have to think about it. It just happens. Okay. It's automatic. Okay. You just singers do, it, do that. Just, okay. Are you sure. You, you yes. got it. Yeah. yeah. Ah, the color. Sad song. Oh. Happy song. Happy song, yes. See? Mm -hmm. Sad yeah. song, you're right. Yeah, Dram sad song, dramatic song. Right, angry song. Angry song. Mm -hmm. um, they all sounded the same right just now, but <laughs> <Yeah>. anyway. <laughs> so depending on the voice, I'll, you know, pitch it up or yeah. lower it. And I, and I do so many different, like if I looked on my phone, because I record them all on my phone. Do you, do you um, save them? I, well, I you do. You should release a CD of auditions. Yes. Can you even imagine? Dee Dee's best of. Yeah, <laughs> the official <laughs> launch of Dee Dee's audition <laughs> CD. Um, uh. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean that's pr pretty much all I do. I, re I read it a couple takes. Um, you know, Zach said that he met, he mentioned that he would spend like you know half hour yeah. to an hour on. I'm like, yeah. ooh, well, that's a long time. Yeah. I gotta make yes. dinner. Yeah. I can't, you know, I can't spend that right. much time. Right. But, I gotta uh, cook dinner. <laughs> I gotta make dinner for yes. my kids. Are hungry. Well, the 19, <gasps> almost oh 20 year old. That's he's he can spend, Yes, right. And, and do you audition for? Just animation stuff or animation and commercials? Commercials, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll do anything. Whatever they throw Whatever at me, throw at I will audition. Do you, what advice would you give to people out there that want to become a successful voice actor? I mean, could you give them some good tips? Um, well, I know Dee Bradley Baker yep. who has has a website. Yes. He does. I want to be a, a voice, voice actor. A voice actor. Mm -hmm. Um, he probably would be better at telling, giving advice. Um, the thing that I think people should do is make a reel. Yeah, you gotta have a reel because you know you gotta you gotta show agencies what you're capable of doing. Exactly. Mm, doing your own voice, doing other voices, because sometimes I'll get uh, an audition where they want me to match somebody's voice. Right. So if you've got any of those in your back pocket, why not throw it on that reel? Yeah. You know, I, there, there are so many voiceover agents. Um, there are so many aspiring voice actors. But you just never know what the client is looking for. You just never know yeah. if they're looking for your exact voice. Exactly. And so it can get frustrating. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I know that firsthand. So um, they just have to keep at it yeah. and try and get your, your work out there you know, as much as you can. Um, with all of the technology and the YouTube and all of that, um, it's very easy to get yourself out there now. For and sure. yeah. you never know who's watching who can change your life and yeah. say, we and, want that person. And listen, mm -hmm. y you've been discovered many times. Yeah. So it's good to get out there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right? The, more, the more you do, the, the better your chances. Exactly, exactly. I mean, along the way, at the times when you you know, maybe had some setbacks or had some challenges. I mean, how did you push through those? What, did you ever feel like, that's it, it's just, it's too hard, I, I can't do it? Um, if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I've ever had that feeling of giving up. Um, I felt like that wasn't an option, um, especially now, being a mom and, um, you know, both my husband and I are in this business mm -hmm. and this is how we provide for our family. Um, I don't have any other skills, <laughs> but uh, this is all I know. I mean, really, this is all I've been doing for my, my whole, yeah. in my, my whole life, I feel. Um, so giving up is not an option. Um, I. I believe that um, it has a lot to do with my faith. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are both um, Christian, and um, so we have that foundation, and we have that 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 strength in that the belief. at our core. That yeah. belief yeah. that you know, um, and I don't want to get all like you know religious and all that kind of stuff, but because we have that faith, yeah. um, we um, it keeps us strong. It keeps mm -hmm. us um, positive. And um, and it keeps us 
together. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we also want to be good examples for our kids, too. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's Stay important. positive. It well, really yeah. is. Somebody yeah. asked a friend of mine the other day, um, uh, hey, are you Christian? And he goes, yeah. Why do you think I'm so successful? <laughs> and I thought it was the greatest answer <laughs> ever. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really, really funny. And then we all just bursted out mm -hmm. into laughter. He was being funny, but, yeah. but it was really, really good. Um, good. Well, it gives you a sense of there's... There's more than just this little tiny moment that I'm in. Exactly. Yeah. That's going to pass. Exactly. There. Oh my gosh. You know what? What, what our lives are. What we're, What our lives are, are is so small compared to the whole big picture of mm -hmm. the whole world. Oh gosh. And so you know. All, and and this is what we teach our kids too to be grateful for all of these things. And and, and there's so it's so easy to take for granted. Um, you know, we, we, we pray as a family and uh, our kids, we, we tell them, you know, please, you know, say your grace before you eat. You know, we're thankful for food. We're thankful for yeah. clothes to wear and a house to live in, a bed to sleep on and um, things like that. Things that, you know, shower. Clean you know, water. Clean yeah. water. You know, things like that. I know every like time that. I turn on the shower and it gets hot in a second, I just go, man. <sighs> yeah. I am yeah. the luckiest yeah. person in the exactly. world. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because when something doesn't go your way, <laughs> when when things happen that aren't necessarily bad things or things that are unexpected, when those things happen and it's hard to understand why this particular thing happened, <laughs> um, with that faith, you know, we're able to move forward. Yeah. We're, able, we're able to, to sort of, okay, you know what? Um, life's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. Um, but we're going to just try our best. We're going to do our best yeah. job. Yeah. And, and there's and no, that's good better, enough. There's no better way exactly. to live your life yeah. than to just to try and be better, you know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> because there's it's always win -win. room for growth. Right. There's yeah. always room for more education. Right. Um, and, uh, and I tell my kids, too, you know, you can learn something new every day. Every day you can learn something new. Well, you your chin is scraping new. on the ground. <laughs> You're learning. No, because, yeah. I mean, Pick your chin up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lift your chin. <laughs> but, I mean, I, you know, it's always, uh, you know, I always say, like, sometimes when I'm having that time and I'm like, I feel like I'm on fire and I'm like, well, at least I'm warm. You know, I mean, <laughs> it, you know, because it does, you know it's not going to last forever. Right. This so too shall pass. how you're going to power yeah. through it and not even endure it, but just live through it Absolutely. is going to make a big mm -hmm. difference. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you see yourself going back to Broadway, like, you know, full time or part time or? Oh, my gosh. I auditioned for Hamilton. You, you did? I did. I did. And I really, really wanted it. I would love to do more theater. Um, like I said before, my husband and I just finished doing Next to Normal together at East West Players, and we loved. There's nothing like doing live theater. Oh, I know that immediate. You know that immediate yeah. response from the audience, and um, but but you know, trying to keep that fourth wall up, you just know that they're in. You know, the, the gasps or the you know the sniffles or whatever, the mm -hmm. laughter. Yeah. Um, there's nothing like it. And yeah. you start the show and you just have to keep going no matter what. Exactly. Yep. You yeah. have to finish the show. Yep. The show must go on. Um, whereas in television and film, you know, there's just lots of stopping and starting and then they, sometimes they go out of sequence and, you know, things have to make sense yeah. in your head, but then it all gets all pieced up together. And then you don't get that immediate re response from the audience. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's nothing like live theater and I would love, 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 love to play a part well then the it's gonna happen baby. i yeah. hope so Absolutely. no you, it's just it just has to happen oh yeah hamilton hello <laughs> hamilton hello we're calling Tweet knock her. knock knock <laughs> um land land um Didi, what are you most proud of in your life um i'm proud to be a mom yay my you know out of all of the jobs that I've ever had, being a mother is by far the hardest job I've ever had and I will ever have. Being a mother? Being a mother. Um, I am constantly learning something new about my kids and about being a parent and, um, you know, I, they, they keep me on my toes, they keep me, they keep me sane, they drive me crazy, but... Do you have a favorite? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, you don't have to answer that. Of course. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. Did you have an expectation of what you thought? Because mm. obviously you were very close to your mom. She traveled with you. You know, she was your momager, as they, yeah. as they say. I mean, Both she, my parents, they, they took turns tra yeah, uh, traveling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you have um, an idea of, like, what kind of mom you would be or... Well, I know well, you that thought I it would be um, no, no. I, I've always loved children growing up. I always loved, you know, carrying babies and had baby dolls and stuff like that. But um, I, I knew that I wanted to be a mom at some point, but I had I, there's no way to know what it was going to be like yeah. Yeah. until you go through it. Um, but uh, but but I have to say, though, too, my parents, my parents were so supportive. Um, Growing, growing up, I, I have an older brother and two younger sisters. And when I got my first job in Orlando, because I grew up in San Diego, my whole family picked up their lives, mm. and we all moved to Orlando for this job. And at the time, I, 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 I was oblivious to all of this. Yeah. Um, my, my parents had to get new jobs. My brother and wow. my sisters had to adjust to new schools and make new friends. And, um, and there I was living my dream. Wow. Um, They've been nothing but supportive and loving, and I feel like that is also something that I, that has kept me mm -hmm. um, grateful yeah. uh, and not take Absolutely. one day for granted. Mm -hmm. um, but but uh, so being very close with my family, and I knew that I, I knew that I was a, a family person. I knew that I wanted to have a big family. Um, you know, we have two children now. Uh, and my husband, you know, is this? He 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 uh, he actually is just one sister, but. Um, He's very close with his family too, so family's very, very important. Yes. Any more kids in the horizon? Yeah. Um, Do you have an announcement you would like to make? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> maybe, maybe someday, maybe God willing, you know. And you'll name the baby Hamilton. 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 You'll be touring with Hamilton. Yeah, God. whether it's a girl or a boy, that, it's going to be Hamilton. From your mouth too. Well, it worked for Miss Saigon. I'm just well, saying. Yeah. Gosh. Um, so, just logistically. How do you keep your voice healthy and strong? How do you take care of your instrument? Um, well, just recently somebody asked me if I had uh, training, vocal, vocal training. And when I was young, and I don't remember this, but my mother told me that, well, both of my, my, my parents told me that they had hired somebody to come and work with me when I was little. I don't remember this, but this person, after working with her for one day, said that she didn't want to... Um, take away from whatever was going on with my voice, so she mm -hmm. didn't want to change it in any way. So she refused to teach me. Wow! And um, and I thought, oh, this is weird. Um, I think because I don't remember, <laughs> but um, so I didn't have uh, training. Um, but then I know I noticed that my voice would get tired quickly and I wouldn't be able to sustain notes as long mm -hmm. as I could or I should. Um, and I, I would get very tired. Then when I did Miss Saigon, I was missing a bunch of shows. Mm. Um, in fact, I, I developed a very small nodule on one of my vocal cords. Mm. So they sent me to a voice therapist in New York, and I worked with this voice therapist to try and relearn how to speak correctly. Um, so I highly recommend <laughs> that you get yeah. voice training or at least, you know, work with somebody yeah. to maintain your voice if that's mm -hmm. what you want to do and mm -hmm. say, yeah. you know, it's, like, it's, it's just like it's a muscle. It's any Absolutely. muscle um, in your body. If you want to be a runner, then you need to practice and train and um, in, in, in anything, any sport. But, uh, but yeah, I, it is, it's, it's very, it's very difficult um, because I didn't have the formal training um, to, to... You mean still to, or then? Still, still. still. Mm -hmm. um, I still need to, to, to work, warm yeah. up my voice um, before and after, or warm down my voice after. Yep. Yep. And then um, drink lots of water, yeah. rest, yep. sleep yeah. is very important. Yep. Yes. But, but yeah, those are definitely things that I, that I need to keep, mm -hmm. keep at. Yeah. To maintain. Yeah. That's good. Well, you look very healthy. Oh, well, yes. thank you. I have to say. You're I haven't <laughs> slept in you years. You must take no. very good care of you yourself, Edie. You stunning. Vitamins. Your cords are stunning. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Gorgeous <laughs> cords. <laughs> Gorgeous cords. <laughs> How do you define success by your own terms, not by the world's terms? Um, I, I really just 
I know this sounds so like cliche or, or whatever, maybe it doesn't sound genuine, but you, you have to know that how I really feel is just trying to do your best at, at anything and everything that you do. Mm -hmm. um, if you put a cap on success, then then what's what's the point? Like, cause you don't really want to stop anywhere. You just want to keep going. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think that I would ever try to do that. Um, you can measure success so many different ways. Right, right. Um, I, I doing the Mickey Mouse doing the Mickey Mouse Club and working with all of those talented kids. Not all of us have been able to continue doing to continue performing. Yeah. Um, and and it's a shame because that show was filled with so many mm -hmm. talented mm -hmm. yeah. talented people. Yeah. Um, and and a lot of them are still, you know, at it. Oh yeah. Um, Strong. And including myself, I'm still yeah. trying to you know, yeah. get out there. I mean, if I'm going to say that I that I've been able to do a lot of things that I've put, you know put my my um, my I set my set some goals out there. Um, I've been able to live so many of my dreams already that yeah. that um, if it all had to be taken away tomorrow, I could say that I've lived a, a very successful yeah, life. No regrets. Yeah. You know, no yeah. regrets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, and and uh, I just don't think I'd ever want to put a cap on whatever that is, uh, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, if if you you know ho however successful you are, if you're not a kind person, or if you're unliked or um, viewed in any sort of negative way, then really it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, um, so yeah, I, I uh, because also because I have children, and uh, I want them to always feel good about themselves and have confidence, and um, I always tell them that they need to um, to be respectful. To treat people the way that you want to be treated, and um, and if you're a good person, um, then I feel like that's good. That's good enough. Good always wins. Yes, absolutely. Eventually, it does. And you can Pollyanna me and hashtag me about that. I believe that. I believe that. It will too. always love will always overcome. Fear. Yes, always. Yes, ditto. Always. Hashtag. Hashtag love. Did love. <laughs> you guys are so cute. You should have your own show. It's great um, power. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> gosh, you're a doll. It's great. You're just oh, so cool, man. Such a dream. Um, Do your kids seem like cool. they want to perform? Do they have any? Well, maybe they start I'm biased. And you say, "Shh, don't say." <laughs> no, no, I yeah, want yeah. more. Give me more. Um, I love it. My my five year old is a ham. He he actually. Um, just booked a little voiceover gig himself, That's and uh, and so he 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 loves it. He loves the attention. He loves dancing. Whenever he hears music, he can't not dance, mm -hmm. which I love. Um, my oldest, um, he's very artistic. He's he's a super um, artist. He's he really is a great at drawing and and musically inclined. He's got a really great mm -hmm. ear for music. He's teaching himself how to play instruments nice. and. Um, and uh, you know, I, I I love that, but they they are shy, and mm -hmm. um, I, I won't I won't force anything yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but uh, but yeah, I mean, I hope that they would. Well, it's would wonderful like to, that that you and your husband. I mean, obviously there is a just a tsunami of creativity swirling through your home, totally. and so that's great that they that they're supported in that and whatever you know, because sometimes. For some people, it's a hobby, and sometimes it's a career. You know, but it's, if you have those creative juices flowing, it's great that they are nurtured, right? In right. Whatever that means. Yeah, whatever they want to do. I mean, we're just trying to discover what they like, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, and just, let them discover exactly. What they like. Let them yeah. decide what they want to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, now we just have to like make sure that we make enough money to provide for the, the baseball and the music lessons <laughs> and the, you know, the lessons. karate and the all karate. the extracurricular. Are they really in all of that stuff? No, no. Okay. <laughs> all of these camps, you know, during summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just, it's crazy. Yeah. I know. It's so expensive. It's and, like, just um, sit still for a day. <laughs> What's the harm? Regroup. Oh. So crazy. But they love the electronics and that is, it's really, really hard to get them mm -hmm. to do 
other things. So yeah. I, you right. know, I I would love them to take the karate and the, the yes. baseball yes. and no, all not the karate app, <laughs> no, but the actual no, yeah, actual the thing. I take no. karate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I type karate. Well, YouTube certified. Yes. And I want to recap about your show on oh, September yes. 15th. September 15th. Only a few days away, you guys. <laughs> At the Ford Theater. Um, yes, me and Jennifer Paz and Anthony Federoff, along with KNL and some other Filipino artists. Um, and it'll be fun. It'll be so that great. People can come. Um, what a treat to get to, to see you perform live. And, and how can people... Get your single, the Mama Bear single. So what? Can they download it? Yes, what's it's the... on all of the. You know, it's on the the iTunes and the Amazon Music. Well, uh, rather, yeah, yeah, rather, yeah. So all yeah, the digital It's medias. all out there. All the digital right yeah. things. You really only need to know iTunes. Right. All right. There you go. Mama yes. Bears. B A R E S. That's right. You can also follow them on Twitter and follow Dee Dee on Twitter. Yes. Um, and Instagram. Um, yes. This is the mystery question, Dee Dee. <gasps> Even I don't know what it is. Oh Chuck my God. doesn't know. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I know. And she sips water. I'm psychotic. I mean psychic, so <laughs> oh. I know. Okay. You have ESPN. Oh, my goodness. I have ESPN. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be... Okay. Take the whole... Yeah, we're answer all of them. Oh, no. Take, no, take an no, inch of cards no. and we're going to stay here no, till no, you're... No, no, okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, do, do you read it? I do. Okay. Would no, you like no. to sing uh, it? No, no, no. Maybe no, 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 we could read it as Pearl. <laughs> Do you, you want, want me to okay. Pearl? Yes. <clears throat> Who do you think is the most inspirational person alive today? Wow. 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 Okay. Who do I think is the most inspirational person alive today? Mm, that's a good one. It is a good one. There's so many. There's yeah. just so many. Um, gosh. Who inspires me? Um, you know, right off the top of my head, the person that came to my mind was Rebecca Sugar. Mm. Um, y you know, just because I was in Pearl's voice, I think maybe that's yeah. why. Yeah. I said that, and I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah. so maybe we'll call Not her to mention your that she's probably watching. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's so. She seems like such a lovely. I've not met her, but she yeah. seems like such she a lovely. She is such a lovely. Whole, per, pure, mm -hmm. uh, she's so talented, and uh, and she's just so full of goodness, like yeah. you guys. Oh, she, you know, Dee -Dee, just like you guys. We gotta have Dee Dee on the show like, at least <laughs> once a month to make us feel good. Yeah, <laughs> inspirations with Dee Dee. Yeah, whenever we're feeling down, we should just call her. Do you have an app, <gasps> the Dee Dee app? It makes you feel good when you're oh, feeling down. Daily inspirations wow. with Dee Dee. Yes, that would be that, amazing. My goodness well, no, gracious. You truly are. You are yes. such a beautiful human being. You, your heart is just made of gold. And we're so, wow. now that yes. we know you, and we're so happy that you were here. Yeah, thank you and for being here. Thank you so much so for having me. You. you guys so are so many wonderful you guys awesome. are awesome. blessings to you yeah. and your family. Thank you're always you, welcome you too. Here. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. Dee Magno Hall. Woo! <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Hi, my name is Dee Dee Magno Hall and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And I just want to remind everybody out there to be kind and to love one another and to be safe and, uh, and uh, drink lots of water. All right, hydrate. Bye. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with the awesome DD Magno Hall. So awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We sure have. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to our show yet, do, Do it, it now, huh? <laughs> yes, and in the meantime, keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo Set Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.